Hey comic book fans, welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Geezers. I am your host, Wild Bill the Unknown Comic, and the co-founder of the show. Pete Pardo here, everybody. How's it going? Good to see you all again. Thanks for joining us here on uh, Comic Book Geezers. We got another Inside the Cover episode. We got lots of these that'll be coming at you in the coming weeks, as well as other stuff. Um, but uh, Bill and I have been doing a lot of reading, and when we do reading, why not show and tell, right? Because that's what show this, and tell. this is all about. So... Uh, so I haven't, uh, as many of you know, uh, a lot of the stuff I've been buying and reading of late is like, you know, Fantastic Four, Avengers, Daredevil, right? So that's a lot of what my reading has been do- uh, been t- taken up with. So uh, i got another Daredevil one for you here today, issue number 134, which is, is this, from 1976. Is this from that big stack you haven't read? That's what you're talking about? Yeah, which is dwindling. So I'm, which You know what that means. That means you're I'm getting gonna, through it. I'm going to have to buy some more stuff and stuff, uh. right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, this is 134. Yeah, I did buy a whole bunch of Daredevils. I still have some to read. But uh, this is kind of a cool issue because, as you can see down below, two against the chameleon. So the chameleon, an old foe of Spider-Man, Spider-Man yeah. who... You know, it was one of his first foes, and you really didn't see him a hell of a lot no. over the years. So, and also on this issue, as you can see, is the torpedo. So this is right around the time where the torpedo was fairly new. He appeared in Daredevil, I think, like 15 issues before this or something like that. And uh, he also got his own, was it Marvel Premiere, Marvel Presents? He was in Marvel Premiere, I think. Yeah. And then he, later on, he sh- fought Rom. Yep, yep. So he would show up every now and then. And there were, there were two torpedoes originally. And then the guy who was in this issue and the previous Daredevil issue actually took up the mantle of the torpedo from another dude. There was a submariner, but not a submarine. Correct. <laughs> Speaking of submariner, I, I, I was out in a store yesterday. In a supermarket, and I saw a guy with a Submariner haircut. Really? And I wanted to take a picture. He had black hair, and he had the triangle like this, and I was like, ooh. Did he have pointy sub- ears, too? No. I but I, we could have always imp- improvised. But yeah, he had the Submariner hair, black hair, and he had the triangle like this. I was like, that's Submariner. Is- Namor running around. In I couldn't just like, walk up and say, hey, dude, you want to be a Submariner? <laughs> he did. He had a Submariner <laughs> face. All right, sorry. Cool. That's so, all right. I thought I'd share, I'd share that. Share that. So, Marv Wolfman, writer and editor, uh, Bob Brown and Jim Mooney, the artist and inkers, uh, and Joe Rosen, letterer, and uh, Michelle Wolfman. What colors. year were we talking? This is 1976. Okay. 1976. So, we're going to be still on 25, soon to be 30 cents. Soon to be 30 cents. So, this is uh, shortly thereafter uh, Matt Murdock slash Daredevil and Scarlet Witch. Not Scarlet Witch. Uh, um, uh, Black Widow. Black Widow. Black Widow, Natasha Breaking. What month is this book? Uh, this is June. Oh, so you got September's when the hike comes into effect. So, so got, right around the corner. Yes. Right three months the left. Cool. Four twenty five in Canada, five dollars and fifty cents in, in, in foreign Canada. lands. Yes, because the post just cost more. Yeah. So here you've got here uh, on the front page, you've got and Matt 16. and this kind of wacky chick that he was kind of seeing at the time, Heather. Uh, watching the news, and the news <laughs> is showing Daredevil gunning down people. Wait a second, how can that be, right? Matt is like, what? Did you hear that? what I thought I just heard, Heather? They just said that Daredevil's a murderer, but it can't be. She goes, turn off the set, Matt. I can't stand listening to it anymore. So trouble's afoot, right? And as it says, there's trouble in New York City. Okay. So. Is it the chameleon starting it? Uh, it very well could be. So Matt, so here, you know... Meanwhile, if you if you've read any of these uh, issues with Heather, she's just like she's just so into him, and all she wants to do is hang out, do things, make out, and you know Matt's like, yeah, that's cool and everything, but I'm I'm still getting over Black Widow, and before that, I was getting over Karen Page because yeah, quite mean, frankly, Matt Murdock is always needing to be getting over someone. That just seemed that this yeah. guy's a love life that we all could hope for something like that. So she's like, let's go for a ride in Central Park. Let's do this. Let's do that. So he's like, yeah, let's yeah. let's do that. Let's do that. So finally. Of course, you get he finally he so he's thinking while all this is going on. He goes, you know, maybe I should just, you know, she's really fun. I actually really like her. I'm starting to feel for her. Maybe I should just run with it, right? So of course he reach over and plants a big old one, right? And she's like, oh yeah, here we go, baby. Matt, right? you're moving too fast. Yeah, yeah, right. Could you imagine if he got that? I next? just want to be friends, Matt. You fucking bitch. <laughs> you crazy fucking psycho. Get the fuck off this. That, horse. I don't think that's Matt Murdock. Get off this fucking horse and wagon now. <laughs> So then, above the rooftops, 
you see, oh, there's the chameleon. Where has he been hiding all this I time? I can't see him. He blends in. Oh, so yeah. He's, <laughs> there he is. Oh, okay. So he sees this, like, rich guy who he's obviously been following, and he is getting ready to go into a jewelry store. Uh, right? So he goes, he throws this smoke bomb. The smoke bomb. Throws this smoke bomb down, and, like, and, you know, of course, the driver, the limo driver, and the guy inside kind of pass out. So, of course, what, yeah, what is the from chame- a smoke bomb? From the smoke bomb. So, what does the chameleon do, right? He impersonates people, right? So, yeah. then he goes, while, while the smoke is settling, he goes in, tosses the, the rich guy inside, and takes up his, uh, you know, he, he's got a mask and everything. So, now he, so now the driver thinks, oh, there you are. I don't know what just happened. Okay, well, let's go inside and do what we got to do, right? So, of course, the chameleon, as this rich dude, goes inside. And as I'd you can like see, to make a withdrawal. As you can see here, the original guy is tied up in yeah, the back gagged. of the car. He's dead, gagged in the back of the car. So they, get into, they go into the jewelry store. The people were expecting him. and like, oh, we have all these things that are waiting for you that you've already paid for. Blah, 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 blah. So they give him a bag full of these jewels. <laughs> and he walks out, right? Perfect. Because like, they think well, it's... he's a chameleon. Yeah, he's a chameleon. Master, they master think it's disguise. They think it's Mr. Smythe, right? Because Mr. Smythe was already set all this kind of stuff up, right? So then they go back out to the car, and the driver goes to open the door and sees... The, the real Ooh. Mr. Smythe, and he goes, hey, wait a second, what's going on? The chameleon takes the attache case with all, goes, the, get him. with all the jewels, knocks him out, right, <laughs> and then takes off, right? So then the cops are given chase. While this is all happening, up above in a uh, little uh, apartment Parker building down. is a guy named Brock Jones. Brock Jones is... The torpedo. So he's looking down below. He sees below that something's going on. Maybe the police need help. And he goes, I, I said I was never going to put that costume on again. You know, um, my, my life is going in a different direction. But, and then... I'll give it one more chance. Give it one more chance. <laughs> Bill is absolutely right. So down he comes. He goes, flies into the area. Uh, meanwhile, you know, Matt Murdock and uh, Heather are out still riding in the, the whatchamacallit, in the carriage. They get back to his place. He hears all the stuff that's going on outside, so he goes, drops her off. He goes, oh, I'll be back. I'll be back in a little while. And then, of course, you know, he puts on the Daredevil costume, starts, uh, you know, flying around. Not flying, but just swinging around <laughs> the rooftops. While all this is going on, because, of course, if you are, uh, are, are a fan of Daredevil around this time period, the Jester is one of his, like, Joker nemesis. Joker nemesis from this time, right? So as all this is going on, we cut to two panels where we see the Joker... Basically, the jester. Sorry, (laughs) sorry. (laughs) Uh, You see the jester taking a look at an old video of uh, Daredevil talking about you know all sorts of good stuff. And what he does is he edits that video and makes it sick. Makes makes him sick, the jester. Yeah. So instead of Matt saying you know he's going to, uh, he's redubbing his words. He's redubbing his words. Basically saying that uh, I, I pretended to be your swinging superhero, but now I have the power to destroy you all. And so that's the gist. Yeah, he goes to fame his character by making him look wretched. Right. And he's, he's going to change his words yep. in the videos. And yep. in, in a future uh, issue, he basically takes that video and he broadcasts it over all What number is this? 136? This is 134. Yeah. Then, so oh, he, about three, three. This goes on for like three or four issues. Yeah, this. it does. Jester. Jester. Yep. I jinx. Yep, exactly. So he's basically out to defame uh, Daredevil's character. Yeah. So. He's going to make him look like a bad guy. Yeah. Basically, so here we got Daredevil finally catches up to the torpedo, who's you know jetting around trying to catch the chameleon. And Daredevil remembers when him and the torpedo clashed a bunch of issues ago, so they go and start going at it again, right? Yeah. Of course, that never you know. So uh, finally, you know they're they're talking, and, and uh, torpedo's basically trying to tell Daredevil, so no wait, I'm actually chasing a guy who stole you know jewels from the the jewelry place or whatever. Stop attacking me and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> so so they're on the chase of the chameleon. And, uh, and then there's this, like, Foggy Nelson little side story, which I'm not even going to get into at this point. But uh, then we've got the, a little uh, Marvel value stamp there, which is a skull from the cover of Doctor Strange number one, right? Is that... Uh, you get the Marvel Con from 1976. Marvel Con from 76. Because this is right at the heart of the Bart Centennial. That's right. That's right. And, you know, Robert Berry, for all of you. Okay. Robert Bell. Robert Bell, sorry. Robert Berry. Robert Berry. <laughs> Jeez, hop up New York. All right, so here we, here we have uh, now the uh, the chameleon is 
is uh, dressed up as a cop, right? But of course, Daredevil is not falling. For is it. not falling for it because now he knows because he's been around the chameleon. He knows, he knows the heartbeat, heartbeat, right? So now yeah. he knows exactly who he is. Identity so he found. So the chameleon is like, how did he? How did he know? How did he know? Right. right? So uh, you know, and then he goes. But the chameleon. This is what's really cool about this issue. He keeps switching identities. Like every other panel, he's he's uh, being someone else. Which I think is really <laughs> cool. So now he's just like this dude out of the street, right? But again, Daredevil's not falling for it, and neither at this point is uh, the torpedo. Is the torpedo? So here you have, uh, and then so you can see here, keep switching. So and then, actually, what he does is he gets up, and all of a sudden now he is the torpedo as well. So Daredevil comes down. He's got the both of them there. He's like, oh crap, you know which one is which, but. He knows, right? Yeah. Because he knows by the heartbeat. So he goes up. And so they're both like, but no, it's me. It's me. It's not him. It's like, you know, that's the chameleon. <laughs> so he goes and he, he sides up next to one of them. He's like, okay, cool. And then just basically knocks him out. As you can see with the big bam. He's like, I know it's you. You didn't fool me. What does he say? I'm going to flatten you instead. Sorry, chum, but your disguise didn't fool me one bit. Um, and then he's like, I don't know how you knew I was the, the phony creep, but it doesn't matter. I'll still flatten you. I fought the Hulk and Spider-Man. I've taken on Captain America, and you're the weakest one of the lot. And then he goes, that's what I like about you, Chameleon. You're consistent in your failure. Failure. And then he just annihilates, annihilates him. him, and basically that's that. So then... Uh, Basically, they, they find you know they, they find him, they arrest him, or they don't arrest him, but they, they uncover his uh, his the, the, all the fake masks, and then uh, Daredevil lets um, the torpedo deal with the cops and the chameleon, and he goes and takes off, and then uh, coming in the next issue, the one you've been waiting for, Daredevil versus the Jester, you've got to be here, and I believe we have talked about some of those in the past. We have, right? yeah. we have. So, yeah. but yeah, but that is like Bill said before, that is like a three issue three or four part story, story arc. The, yeah, Jester the Jester taking over the city. Yeah. Yeah. And using Daredevil as the henchman, the fall guy, the Patsy. Yep. Yeah. Gee, where have we heard that before? Man? Yeah. So it's very Joker esque, but I think that's what they were going for. But uh, so there you have it everybody. Uh one thirty four Daredevil of Daredevil nineteen seventy six. It's a good one. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're like this and you like the torpedo, like I said, he was in uh, another issue in a half, like about 10 or so issues before this one, I think in the early 120s, and uh, those were pretty good, too. But uh, He's in the earlier ones, like in the 40s and 30s, I think, too. Did he make an appearance back then, way back when? I don't remember if it went back that far. The Jester? Oh, the Jester, yeah, yeah. The Jester definitely did. Yeah, yeah the torpedo, though, it was about 10 issues before. Oh, yeah. exactly. Jester's been a thorn in his, in his he's side. He's been around for a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, gang. So, well, We'd like you to click the like button and click the notification bell so we kept a loop every time we have a video. We thank you for your comments. As always, thanks for being here. And we thank you for your support and your subscriptions. And we'll see you next time on Comic Book Geezers. That's right. For Wild Bill, I am Pete. Take care, everybody. And see you soon. And uh, keep those comments coming. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.